Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one more important parameter which gives information about how much amount of oxidizable impurity present in the water sample that is BOD. Today we will discuss what is the importance of the BOD, how it is determined and numerical problems in it. Oxygen is sparingly soluble in water about 9 ppm at 20 degrees centigrade in fresh water. This water it get polluted by many ways. It may be from industry or it may be from domestic source. Seaways is the liquid waste coming out from domestic as well as industry sources. With usually containing organic waste along with microorganisms. These microorganisms utilize these organic waste and get converted to simple compounds. Microorganisms utilize these compounds as a food. During this biological decomposition, some amount of diesel oxygen will be consumed. As a result, diesel oxygen content decreases. Amount of organic substance present in the sample is measured in terms of diesel oxygen required for oxidation of organics by microorganisms. A new term is used for this purpose called BOD biological oxygen demand. More the BOD more will be the oxidizable impurity present in it. World Health Organization has imposed a limit of 4 mg per dm cube on the BOD of raw water used for public supply. This table gives information about quality of water level. More the BOD, lesser is the water quality. Lesser is the water quality. Definition. It is defined as amount of the oxygen consumed by the microorganisms for the biological acceleration of organic waste present in 1 dm cube for a period of 5 days at 20 degrees centigrade. Here organic compounds will be there, they will undergo biological oxidation. It is a quantitative estimation that is why 1 dm cube specified throughout 5 days complete oxidation takes place that is why 5 days is required. 20 degrees centigrade is the optimum temperature for the aquatic population to live in the water sample. In the determination of BOD, sewage sample is diluted with dilution water. Since the method involves biological acceleration of organic waste, we have to provide conditions like pH, temperature and other nutrients for the microorganisms to grow. As the amount of oxygen present in the water sample is less, strong waste diluted such that demand is less than available oxygen. Now the question arises, how are you preparing dilution water? 1 dm cube of distilled water thoroughly aerated by bubbling compressed air for about 1 day followed by 1 cm cube of each phosphate buffer about pH 7.2, magnesium sulphate, calcium chloride, ferric chloride if possible, little amount of sludge will be added. These will act as nutrients for the microorganisms. Then only it will organic waste undergo biological oxidation. Principle It is based on Winkler's idiometric method to a known quantity of the water sample. Known quantity of dilution water is added. The resultant solution is divided into two equal parts. Dissolved oxygen content of the first part determined immediately by Winkler's automatic method. The one more sample kept in incubator for a period of 5 days at 20 degrees centigrade. Its dissolved oxygen content also determined by Winkler's automatic method. Difference in these dissolved oxygen content gives the BOD of the water sample. BOD can be calculated by using this relation. BOD equals to D1 minus D5 multiplied by volume of water after dilution 
divided by volume of water before dilution. Procedure Known quantity of sewage sample. Let us say 25 cm cube sewage sample is taken. To this, you would add 375 cm cube of dilution water is added. Total volume becomes 400 cm cube. The resultant solution is divided into two equal parts. Dissolved oxygen content of the first bottle determined immediately by adding these chemicals manganese sulfate, alkaline Ki solution, followed by concentrated sulfuric acid. Iodine will be liberated, the liberated iodine titrated against sodium thiosulfate. Using starch, you can, starch indicator, we can find the how much amount of oxygen present in the water sample. This titration is called as blank titration. One more water sample kept in incubator for a period of 5 days at 20 degrees centigrade. After incubation, you would add same chemicals what we did in the first trial. Once again, iodine liberates. The liberated iodine titrated against sodium thiosulfate. This titration is called back titration. Calculation D1 calculation by knowing the strength of sodium thiosulfate, we can calculate the strength of water sample. Amount of oxygen present in the sample can be calculated by using this relation. N1 multiplied by gram quantity weight of oxygen. And finally, you have to calculate in terms of milligram. That gives the amount of oxygen present in the water sample and it is called as D1 it is. Similarly, you can calculate the Dissolved oxygen in the water sample for incubator sample that is D5. Once you calculate both D1 and D5, we can calculate the BOD of the water sample by using this relation D1 minus D5 multiplied by volume of water after dilution divided by volume of water before dilution. Now we will solve some numerical problem on BOD. In the current problem, 20 cm cube of sewage sample is mixed with 580 cm cube of dilution water. Hence, the total volume becomes 600 cm cube. And 600 cm cube is divided into two equal parts. That is 300 cm cube, 300 cm cube. Dissolved oxygen content of the first bottle determined by using Winkler's automatic methods. For 200 cm cube of the reaction mixture, it required 4.2 cm cube of N by 40 sodium thiosulfate. And the second sample, it requires 2.2 cm cube of N by 40 sodium thiosulfate solution. Now you have to calculate the BOD of the solution. As you can see in, in the data, incubated sample requires less amount of sodium sulfate. It containing less amount of the oxygen. During this 5 days, biological acceleration takes place. Dissolved oxygen availability for is less also. By using law of volumetry, first you have to calculate the strength, then, then finally you can calculate the amount of oxygen present in the water sample. So D1 it comes out to be around 4.2 mg per dm cube. Similarly, you can calculate the D5, its value comes out to be 2.2 mg per dm cube. So we know already uh, in the formula BOD, D1 we already calculated, D5 just now we calculated, volume of water dilution is 600 and volume of water before dilution is 20. By substituting these values, we will get it 600, 600 mg per dm cube.